Back of the Bus podcast. We got another Black Panther review coming to you. It's issue four. Uh, we're gonna talk about the solicit here in a second, man, because I'm, I'm not I'm not filling the the giveaway. The Shuri next <laughs> on the hit list. Like I I, I hate solicits though. I really do. With us here today, we have a very special member, Mr. Daryl Atkins, aka D Real from Be Real with D Real. Got that one right. What up? What up? What up? For that one. Alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. What's happening? Oh, for sure, for sure, man. I appreciate you doing a review with us, man. Okay, no uh, problem, no problem. You know, it's Black Panther. I'm in like four feet. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So let's let's go ahead and jump in, man. So. We start out on this issue back on Araco. It looks like T'Challa and Aurora are having their goodbyes. They they get out of there real quick, you know. Oh, T'Challa, you don't have to leave. Ah, but Storm, I gotta protect you, right? Keeping up good appearances, everything looks good yeah. up and up. Yeah. It's no sooner than T'Challa and and oh, uh, oh, but, but I don't know if you know how to say old Oma lady's Lola. name. There you Oma go. Lola. We call her old lady over here. Okay. So, <laughs> well, oh, oh, Ole, Ole at work. Ole at work. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, no sooner than they get on uh, the ship to pull off of Mars or Araka, uh Storm acknowledges that, hey, uh, I know you went to go to Gentle. I know you went to go holla at T'Challa uh, last night after y'all's little fake skirmish or whatever. I'm going to need you to run me the... Uh, you to run me the the, the 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 series of events. Give me everything that happens. Spill the beans. Now, now, now right away, <laughs> let me tell you how I felt about that. Duplicity between T'Challa and Aurora is a horrible way to start <laughs> off. Man, we've been waiting for them to get back together for how yeah. long? And now yeah. you're going to get back together and be acting like a damn basic couple? I was not feeling that. At yeah, all. I, I I agree. Like I I I I fought some of the criticism over you know T'Challa having the sleeper agent in in Araco at all. Like I, I thought that was pretty. I mean that's pretty standard for a world leader. I would I would think somebody that's running a country at least competently. Um, him needing to hide that fact from Storm. I would think that his ultimate goal, like above, you know, protecting Wakanda as the protector of Wakanda for sure. But I would think part, somewhere in that is protecting Aurora as well. So like maybe that's why he chose somebody like Gentle who's already close to her. So I, I, I don't really like the idea of him keeping it from her in particular. Exactly. If, if mm-hmm. that's supposed to be your lady, you know, and y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all all kissy face. Uh, little side note: What I, I, I did, li- I like the fact that Storm's hair has weather patterns in it. That's dope. I, 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 thought, <laughs> that was, I thought that was real dope. I like. Yeah. Is that lightning? Are those clouds? That's tight. Um, Dog. That is hard. Yeah, yeah, and, and her whole look all together. You know, uh, cause I, I, the the under the arms thing was cool, but it's like. That seemed like in a fight that would get in the way. I'll tell you what, bro. Anytime her hair is texturized in any way or any context, I'm here for it. You know what I mean? As long as I'm not looking at the super perm storm, then it's, you know, we all good. Yeah, yeah. And she's looking very Afrocentric, I must Yeah, say. absolutely, absolutely. So old lady and T'Challa are back on the ship, and they have a, a quick exchange over uh, the discussion that um, Storm and, and, and T'Challa had. Hey, listen, I, I, I've given it enough time, I feel like, right? I've given it enough time for it to even out, but I'm, I'm really starting to stiffen around uh, uh, the way that O is talking to T'Challa. It's so aggressive. There's no <laughs> deference in it at all. There's none. There is no, and I get that they have a prior relationship, but there's there's history and then there's duty. There, okay. there's, there's relationship and then there's responsibility. And well, she, she's, oh, she's all oh, up in oh. there. O- Olay got me feeling some kind of way too, but for a different reason. I'm gonna let you get to what you're gonna get to later on in the book because that's mm-hmm. gonna be a that's gonna be a big O snap moment. Um, yeah. But it, it, to me, it kind of encapsulates. Okay, that's why she talks like that. Now I don't yeah. I don't want to generalize or make no assumptions and piss nobody off, but it's like, come on now, uh, that 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 is that is textbook to Chala. It's like, okay, um, I'm I'm rolling with you, but I'm also 
gathering information. For sure, for sure. All right, I mean, because because classically, I mean, uh, during the Christopher Priest run, didn't mm-hmm. he like just drop that bomb on the Avengers? Like, okay, the only reason I joined y'all was to spy on y'all, and they were like, what, 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 what? That's you know, another yeah. thing that's been lacking out of this run, I feel like, is that the dialogue from T'Challa has been turned down, I feel like, a little bit. Like, he speaks not as the, you know, the calculated pragmatist. He kind of speaks as more of just like kind of like a, a dick. He's he's an arrogant person in, in this iteration so far. He's just... It, it's but, he so, take, so, but he's taking a lot of shit too. He take, yeah, he, he, yeah. People talking crazy to him, and he ain't scratching nobody's face off yet. So <laughs> I'm like, man, why are they talking to their king like that? You know what I'm saying? Could yeah. could somebody from Great Britain walk up to the queen and just be Absolutely like, uh, I ain't feeling your hat, queen. That's ugly. So you need to take that off. Don't care what type of relationship it is. I don't care how long you knew what we did before. There's no context in which you can speak me speak to me that way. So you, you're absolutely right, and it's that part. It's that getting part. under my skin. Uh, so yeah. back in, back on Wakanda and Shuri's lab, we got Shuri analyzing the fighting style of the assassins. Now she comes up uh, to the conclusion rather quickly that the fighting style is definitely Wakanda. Ninety-seven point yeah. thirteen percent. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> definitely Wakanda. Definitely someone. Who is not only trained in Wakanda, but very likely from Wakanda. But I, I'll put a pin in that point because that's going to come back up later. Uh, yeah. What would you think about this? About this quick look at, at Sherry's lab. I the, the the that look was very reminiscent of 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 constellations, oh, yeah. um, of of like astronomy. You know, and that's that's the vibe I got off of it when I looked at it. But you know, it, it, it's at the same time, advanced Wakandan science. Yeah. Your ways are not our ways. Your thoughts are not our thoughts. So your gear show ain't gonna be our gear. So that's almost, I would dare say, that's like a step above like what Tony Stark had. I agree, I agree. I think that I, I do like the fact that they find a way to highlight Wakandan technology in this. Um, I hopped on pretty late to Ta-Nehisi Coates. So I didn't, I didn't get the full flesh of, you know, Wakandan technology and everything from that, that iteration of Black Panther or that run for Black Panther. Right. Um, but I like that they're finding ways to put that into to, to this run. I mean, it's 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 one of maybe like two or three things that are keeping this book afloat for me. It would be that. It would be T'Challa and Storm's relationship staying solidified. Um, uh, I, I, yeah. And I would also, I would also like to see. Again, you're getting to it, but <laughs> I would also like to see how this parliamentary thing. And here is we gonna, go. It's gonna pan yeah, so, out. What's mm-hmm. her name? Uh, Mrs. Folasad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss yeah, Folasad, yeah. Prime Minister. Yeah. yeah so yeah. let's go on back to it. So we're in Wakanda. And uh, Prime Minister Folosad and Akili are having yep. a discussion about, um, you know, the, the the state of Wakanda's mm-hmm. new, you know, parliamentary-like system, a new democratic system that they've implemented. Yeah. Here's what I'm confused about, because it does seem as if she's trying to gauge where Akili's lead- allegiances are, like where yeah. his loyalties lie, ultimately, right? Does or how, it, does or it, how far... Or for how far he's willing, he's willing to, to go. go. Absolutely, for, for Wakanda, and, and absolutely. I, and I thought it was kind of cryptic the way that she asked because it's like it's almost like a mobster type thing, you know. It's like mm-hmm. you know, uh, what are you willing to do? But I ain't absolutely. gonna tell you what I want you to do. I just want to know you're willing to do it first. Here's my question though with her. So, because there's there's a difference between how she came at Akili here in this private conversation and the first issue we saw her in issue one when they were actually going through you know the uh, congress sessions or whatever you would yeah. like to call them right so at that point she scolds T'Challa and tells him you know hey that's not your role anymore you know you you're just advisory fall back and that's She's what I mean to- about everybody talking crazy to him I'm like 
but, but, but hold on, but hold on, right? So that was just one. She comes up here and she's talking as if T'Challa's absence is the reason for the unrest in Wakanda. So now, now you pl- you talking out of both sides of your neck. Is that purposeful? Well, during the time the Hesse run, wasn't mm-hmm. it? Wasn't it was it him being absent a lot of the reason why there was civil unrest in Wakanda? Granted, it was being exacerbated by people who could control, you know. The, Is that what the, you the, took from? Because w- when I took from it, when she was saying that was. He been running off with oh for the last two or three weeks while we've been trying to hold stuff down in this new system I, we got going. He ain't been around. I thought it was period. You know, period. I'm okay. Because, All right. I mean, because classically he's always been skirting that line between regent and adventurer. Sure. And, okay. and, and doesn't have a problem just dropping what he's doing in Wakanda and say, oh, the Avengers need me, and but people in Wakanda are like, but we need you. I'll be back. And vice versa. It's a real serious situation going on with the Avengers. My people need me. It's almost like it sounds like excuses or mm. or he's, well, he, we know he's hiding something. He's always hiding something. <laughs> always hiding something. Yeah, but, but it's it just that dynamic. And, and eventually, folks start to notice it in the time okay. of Hesse run where they like, okay, we tired or you you need to make up your mind who you rolling with the, 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 yeah. the white people or us yeah yeah okay that makes sense that makes that's a different context i that i'm thinking yeah. like all right well you just told him to get up out of here beat it roger and now you like oh well we need you so uh, you know <laughs> choose one exactly. okay exactly. so then still there in wakanda uh Keely gets a call uh there is a, a power cell that's overloading somewhere in wakanda that's very convenient that we got that you know, so quickly. Um, yep. They notice that it's coming from Shuri's lab. Wakili tries to hail Shuri, but the bomb goes off first. And that, that, that's where we... So yep. let, let's talk about this exchange for just a second. I ain't going to stay here too long. But okay. I think we're looking at the same things. How the hell... <laughs> how the hell... How do you know a battery about to explode two kilometers hey. off in the middle of the city? How? Hey, there, there, there are two ways to look at that. Okay. One something rotten in Wakanda or two Wakanda technology uh, as as it's, as it's, much it's a stretch it's a stretch I was about to say as much as I want to give the props to everything Wakanda technology I don't want to use that as a crutch to explain everything because Back. I feel like Back. it was too convenient that that came off of the heels of the conversation that Paula sat and Akili were just having how right. far are you really trying to go? Who are you protecting, T'Challa or Wakanda? If she, T'Challa's she, no she longer did, leading Wakanda. She did go on the suspect list right after that. I'm like, man, <laughs> what just happened? So she went, straight, she went straight on my suspect list. I was like, oh. Yeah, keep okay. over that. <laughs> I, Her at too. First, I, was, <laughs> I was looking at Achilles first through the first, you know, maybe two or three issues when he was asking right. Shuri certain things. And so right. now I'm looking at Polis ad like, okay, we just got it coming from all different directions. And so that's that's kind of taking me to my next point about where this run ultimately ends up and through this first arc. I've seen you talk about the uh, the overplayed Civil War arc, you know, coming from Black Panther. Do you think that's where we're headed ultimately right now? Civil War? Now I I don't wanna I don't wanna wish nothing mm-hmm. <laughs> on anybody yeah. and and not to get off in the recast to Jala, but just I'm gonna hit this and quit this and you tell me if this theory is sound. Sure. Okay. From Blade to the 2000 X-Men to uh uh Fantastic Four, all of those superhero based movies that came out in the early 2000s. The comics were changed or modified to fit what was going on cinematically to boost comic book sales. Because if you see what was going on in the movies, in the comic books, then you'll buy comics and more people will be buying comics. It's expressly appealing to casual. I don't know too much about it, but I see that comic and that comic looked like the movie I watched. They killing T'Challa cinematically. 
do we think that will be following in the comics to keep up with what's going on cinematically in boost sales? That's what my thought was. So I can't speak about the shift because I didn't start reading comics until 2008. So I'm, you know what I mean? I'm behind the curve. You, you was right there. You was right there. Okay. I mean, okay. And, I was, and I was referring to movies, but yeah, I get what but, you're saying. But for sure, for sure. I, I guess I couldn't see how the how the arcs in the comics were mashing up with the movies at the time. Now, I can, I can look back and we can definitely, we can do that. That's easy enough, right? I think uh-huh. it's, it's, it's a bass backwards way of doing it, right? Instead of writing the arcs in the long form of media that you have being the comics and then recreating it on screen, you're trying to recreate on screen and then push it backwards to the long form type of media, which is the comic books, which yeah. look, man, I didn't start reading comic books because of the movies. I started watching the movies because of comic books. It don't, it don't work in reverse. I don't think. At least not well, for me. You know? It, 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 I put it like this. The, the, in the early 2000s, when, when the X-Men started wearing yellow uniforms with black yeah. leather, it's like, yeah. what a coinky no. thing. You know? No. And, and we know, I don't know if you know, but how Blade looked prior to the blade movie absolutely absolutely that was that was totally a, different that yeah. was a nerdy looking ass outfit <laughs> okay? he had an but ascot that, <laughs> yeah and, and and the puffy safari pants with long boots <laughs> to your knees i'm like that is ugly even back then when i was looking at like that's an ugly outfit dude got on but yeah. they but they tweaked it to make it look more like Wesley Snipes in the movie. And to this very day, you open up a comic book with Blade in it, all you see is hints and notation of the Wesley Snipes version of Blade. Hey man, you got it. You got it. I'm so right I there hope, with you. I hope that ain't a precedent that we're gonna see with Black Panther. I hope not either, man. I don't I don't think it'll be ultimately successful trying to this this whole thing of, of replacing the 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 main character with the with the the supporting cast and trying to elevate the world and all that, that, that works good in a two hour film or I don't know if it'll work well, but you can try it in a film. I don't think that story makes it out of the first arc in a comic book shop because right. we don't buy what we're not interested in reading. And that's, that's just not, that ain't going to get it. That ain't, that ain't going to get it, but mm-hmm. Hey, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Well, I was going to say, I hate, I hate to keep, making reference to comic books but uh the death of superman yeah yeah it was probably there was probably a lot of people that didn't want to see superman dead but they dragged that story out for the better part of what two years before mm. they decided they was gonna bring superman back i yeah, think back, like a yeah. year almost two so i mean writers we'll and, writers we'll and see. artists don't care enough about good ideas right <laughs> <laughs> oh man so after Shuri does survive the explosion in her lab, she calls the child first, lets him know that Achille got in touch with her just in time. So maybe Achille is off the suspect list and Paula Sad moves on up. Um, well, I starts- like the fact I like the fact yeah. that 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 Shuri was like, "Can you talk?" And he right. was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, "Yeah, I got my earpiece in because." Well, you with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, I can talk. Go ahead. So she starts <laughs> running down the list of evidence that she's collected, uh, which includes, right, the Wakandan fighting style that she confirmed. Uh, she also talked about the synthetic vibranium that she found out that their suits are made out of. That was an interesting yeah. point because that confirmed that not only is the the fighter, the learner Wakandan style or learn from a Wakandan, that he's probably Wakandan himself, combine that with the fact that he he knows about the vibranium properties right. uh, you know to, to help recreate it so knowing both of those things right knowing that this person knows about vibranium it's probably wakandan and a wakandan fighter that makes you know prime suspect for all of this oh and also the the, the fact that that kind of fell on on deaf ears to all of this i don't know how through four issues but they always knew where they were at that firsthand knowledge of T'Challa's whereabouts. Now, how the hell it took you that long to start asking that question? 
I, hey, hey, I, I have no idea. Comics. Yeah, yeah. The same, the same reason superheroes who know other superheroes and those superheroes know that one another are superheroes, but they get into fights. <laughs> <laughs> And that, for a minute, that's how all superheroes used to meet each other. It was one random fight where we don't talk. I'm, and then... I'm a fight. Yeah, I'm a fight. And, and at least one of them would say, I've heard of you. Well, if you so heard why are you fighting fight? me? Yeah, exactly. I want to stop. Stop it. They get in one fight, and then they stop and had a whole conversation that they probably should have had before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, dog, my bad. I, uh, you, you, in, you in Brooklyn? Oh, I'm in Queens. So, all right, man. Yeah. Okay. So, T'Challa and Shuri come to the conclusion that their prime suspect is probably O. And quite honestly, that's where this this, uh, this book kind of falls apart, at least this issue. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. It is so much wrong with these last five or six pages. Okay, so first of all, the the, the last bit of evidence that Shuri shows T'Challa are, are pictures of O and, and other men. As if that's that that is ultimately incriminating. Like she's a she's an undercover agent. She has to keep up lifestyles and storylines and stuff like that to stay undercover. What the hell is he so angry about with these pictures? Uh, I think it was I, okay. Yeah, I agree because my first thought is you're a spy. Spies can be spied on. And earlier in on their way back from Mars, they did have that conversation where they were talking about, um, uh, I'm I'm checking you out in the dynamic with your girlfriend and blah right, blah yeah. blah, and, and y'all sure are, you know, hiding stuff. And he like, well, okay, same with me and you, and, right? And, and you don't know anything about me because it's our jobs to to hide stuff from each other. He said, a relationship born of deception, you could never really know that person. Bam. Okay, mm-hmm. so that's why. But 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 I got cameras on you though. <laughs> that's that's nuts, man. I just I, I don't. She's kind of just doing her job, and then and then also it's like okay, if it was oh well, you stepped out on job. Well, you strategically put them a, a, apart from each other. Were they supposed to go celibate for the rest of their lives? Was that a vow that that, that we missed? I don't I don't understand. I really I, I didn't I didn't get it. I okay well. I guess when 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 you're married, there's no excuse whatsoever for you to be cheating. I, I guess that's the thought process. And then and then for it to be coming from T'Challa, it, of all people, fail, fail. yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, bro, you just sat right here in front of me and lied to your girl. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna lecture me? And that's exactly what she says to him. Like, you can't lecture me. You a liar too. Oh my God, man. And then she does, she makes a solid point in the, in the middle of all of this madness. Did I hate you enough? Because he, he makes the point that, you know, separating her and Ja and having her, you know, implanted in the places that she's been in, having her be undercover, she grew bitter, right? That's his reasoning. That's his understanding. So if that's the case, did she hate you enough to kill the one thing that she wanted in all the world that you took away from her? Is that how that played out? Like, that don't even make sense. How does T'Challa, and not not just T'Challa, but T'Challa and Shuri. So now I've named two of the five most intelligent beings in, in, in in the Marvel Universe. How did those two people come up to this conclusion? I always chalk things like that up through the writing. And it's it's John Ridley. So I I am I am at a loss. To, to understand what his depth of understanding is about the characters in this book. Because as each issue progresses, one, two, three, everything starts to dichotomize. And, and, and it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? It's just, just kind of disintegrated into this series of images and words that is like, okay, y'all just putting stuff on the paper because you can put stuff on the paper. Make it make sense. Yeah. And it's, it's not mm-hmm. making any sense. At least that's what, because I read it again today. I looked at it today and I was like, that don't make no sense. 
that don't make no sense either. How come yeah. they can't see that? You know, it, it, and, and, and it just, and it goes on and on and on. And I guess when she got tired of being disrespected, so she started disrespecting back. Yeah, but but your disrespect lands you in a treason charge. And that's where we're getting even, even, even worse. Like if we went from bad to even worse, because yeah. where, where, like not certainly not Wakanda, not not Wakanda, not not on the homeland. Are you gonna be bitch smacking the king off his feet for Dropped the third him. time in Dropped four him. issues? Dropped him with one shot. The assassin knocked him on his ass. Gentle knocked the shit out of him, and now his own agent that he trained is is giving him the goddamn uh, uh who is that? The Mike Epps. Baby powder across the face. Now come on, baby, man. Come baby on. powder make the pimp hand strong. <laughs> T'Challa, you're not good enough. Yo, did he did he train her to, to have that swag? Oh my god. Is that is that make okay? Let's let's throw him a bone. Is that what he's trying to say? That she's baby T'Challa? That she's uh, she's well, like I, Well, no. No. <laughs> like, I, I, I can't. Okay, we do get some dope panels of their fight, though. It's, it's a cinematic view. I like it. That that's pretty nice. Other than that, man, it is this got bad. It's got bad because we shouldn't have needed this exchange to see that T'Challa clearly outclasses one of the agents that he helped train. We shouldn't need this long or drawn out of an exchange to see that that she's not on his level. I'm not even satisfied by the way this ended. He had when to, she he said. Had, when she said what she said, man, I, I gave him the Omar Epps look. <laughs> you, uh, what? Didn't he train you? Why are you talking? That's like going to the jujitsu studio and, and be like, I'm a beat up the instructor today. Has trained in the most, what would you call that? The most disciplines of martial arts than any other fighter other than Taskmaster. I, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out, man, how he's only able to overcome her in a defensive manner. He has to break her arm as he's grabbing her over his shoulder. He has to throw his head back like he's in the down position wrestling or something. I don't, I, I, I just didn't like him. I didn't, hmm. I wasn't feeling it. We I wasn't like, feeling it. We didn't like T'Challa's clap back. No, but uh, you know, luckily Shuri pulls up and so does Akili and you know, his backup. So he doesn't have to fight anymore. And um, they but- And they threatened to kill her. Yeah, yeah. So, so, um, give us a give us a going out, and uh, what do you think about the direction where we're going here with the with the next issue? Okay, we we getting ready. We going on a fifth issue, right? Yes, sir. Number five. Okay, um, and we are no closer to knowing who this killer is or killers than we were in issue one. So. My my issue first is with the writing. Okay, you I I I I am assuming that you're pacing the story. Okay, but it doesn't seem so much mysterious as it does an intentional attempt to withhold information until a key moment. Mm -hmm. uh, again, like I said earlier, the thing with Storm and and being duplicitous towards Storm, I don't like that. We, we both were saying, okay, you're making T'Challa and Shuri two hyper-intelligent beings look not so hyper-intelligent. No. What, what's the opposite? Hypo-intelligent? <laughs> <Yeah. You know? laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I, 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 as a Black Panther fan, I am saying the tempo, the the writing, some, that all of that in this book need to change because they're 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 not holding attention with what they're doing. We'll give the synopsis here for the for the next issue, issue five. T'Challa believes he's found a traitor in his ranks, but is his paranoia getting the best of him? As the investigation shines a dangerously bright light on the Black Panther sleeper agent program, will his secrets turn Wakanda and even? His few allies against him for good. Yeah, man, it feels like we're going towards the Civil War. I I, I want to see hmm. something that's not, you know... A third Civil War? 
You know, like we don't I, need. I, well, they had they had a couple secret wars, so I guess they can have a couple civil wars. I I enjoyed Empire uh, or Intergalactic Empire of Wakanda more than most. Um, it's a good I story. Think it was a good story, right? But it it's been done. We we've 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 done. I and you know, just hearing from other Black Panther you know runs that I've yet to read, I know it's overdone. You know, I know this isn't a this isn't a new concept of you know. Well, actually, the, the Wakanda and civil unrest. The intergalactic empire of Wakanda was more of a hero's journey redo. Yeah. You know, it, they took him and stripped him of everything, and then he had to build himself back up. Sure, piece by piece. So, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that's 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 standard literature. That's just writing. more of the 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 idea of how the you know the 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 oldest Wakandans enslaved you know certain parts of the the population that uh, when right. he went through the, the the time rip and ended up over there he was one of the slaves he had to be liberated right so uh i think that's i think that's about we what we got this week be real tell us where we can find you uh i am at be real with d real on youtube y'all can come hit me up comment like subscribe to the page i also do a radio show here in anchorage alaska on uh konr 106.1 Point one FM is the fire and ice show with myself and Lady Jasmine, uh, and it streams so you can check it out on outnorth.com. And I do improv, and I got a show tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, good luck, man. Good luck for sure. Oh, we're gonna break, we're gonna break a few legs. It's all good. But I, I didn't want to say that, I didn't know if that was like the cliche thing to say to an actor. So I it's cliche, say, good luck, good luck. It's cliche, but it's it, it's still apropos for sure, man. I appreciate you getting on with us tonight, man. Thanks.